Hey guys, good evening. Hi Daniel. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. This is Alejandro Narbona at your service. Can you hear me, Daniel? Are you here? Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Sorry, my microphone estaba apagado. My microphone was off. My microphone was off. Mm -hmm. Was off. Was off. Was off. Correct. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you very much. Now people okay. are starting to come. Great. Hello, Aldo. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Hi, hi, hi. What's up? Um, thank you, Mori. JC. Thank you very much. Alrighty. So um, I just want to say thank you for the ones who were working on the platform today. Okay. So um, so far, have you been able to complete two point two on the platform? Yes. Yeah. All right. Great. So let's get it started, guys. Remember, today we have the one on ones. Aldo. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're there. And if someone yep. is not going to be able to be there, which you should. But if not, someone else can take your spot. Okay. Oh, so JC is driving. Thank you for yes. your responsibility. I, I live for my work. I drive in a uh, 30 minutes. I, I <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your responsibility. All right, guys. So today we have a couple of things to do. Now, before we start with this new topic that we have, luckily for you, there's no grammar today. But as far as yesterday's topic, were you able to practice a little bit more? Or you just uh, left it as it is? Actually, I, I battled a lot with the homework 2.2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the uh, okay. So um, sometimes the platform is very uh, okay. JC, in the meantime, I am going to mute your microphone because of the background. But feel free to participate if you have to. Yeah. Okay. Right? Thank you. Just just be careful. All right. Focus on your on the road. We don't want you to have an accident. Okay, very good. So guys, today we're gonna start with a, or we're gonna continue with the topic that we have been covering, which is online things, online business, shopping, etc. So welcome to the people who's joining. Go ahead and read with me, please. I will be able to. I will, I will be, able be able to. to. Explain the most common issues. Explain the most Explain common, the common issues. Most common issues. Mo is a long vowel sound. Most common. We're going to link it. Most common. Most common. Most common. Mm -hmm. most One more time. Common. Explain the most common issues. Explain the most, the most common issues. Common e. Link it. This is consonant. Consonant to vowel. Explain the most common issues. Explain the most common issues. Related to product quality. Related to product, Related to product quality. quality. When shopping online. When shopping, shopping online. online. Uh -huh. Shopping online. We say it all shopping together. Online. Shopping online. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and say it completely. I will be able to explain the most common issues related to product quality when shopping online. Go please. I will be able to explain the most common issues related to product quality when shopping online. When shopping online. Great. I need a volunteer to read it alone, please. Okay, me, teacher. I will be able to explain the most common issues related to product quality when shopping online. Nice. Great. I like the effort. So, so, so. No, no. Okay. I like the effort. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like okay. it a lot. At the beginning, it was like explain the most common, 
but the rest common issues uh -huh. excellent okay. so remember okay. listen repeat exactly as you hear it so let's go ahead and, and uh, start with a few questions guys do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store Mm -hmm. This is a real question. <laughs> I'm actually oh, no. copying it here. Do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? Not really. Not always. Not always. I do. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, right. I never. I have never done that. Oh, I yes, have I never do. done that. Never done. Okay, great. Now, I know that not all of you have bought things online and sometimes it is not possible. For example, in Marketplace, it is not possible to read reviews as far as I know. So um, if you have not done it online, you can have your experience buying directly in the store, okay? Now, what do you do when you order a product and receive something faulty or different from your order? Do you return it? Do you keep it? Do you complain, etc.? Okay, I need a volunteer. Come on, don't be afraid. Just one. Me, Maria. Okay, thank you, Maria. You're gonna see that this is easy. I'm going to try to model the way to answer these questions. So please go ahead and ask me the first question. Copy it. We're gonna go to the breakout rooms. Go ahead, Maria. Oh, well, I'm lost now. I, I thought that I will make you the question and yes. you will answer to me. Correct. So go ahead and ask that question. Do you, do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? To be honest with you, my introductory uh, sentence, to be honest with you, yes. I actually try okay. to be very careful because I don't like to receive things that I don't like or that I didn't order, right? Now here you can give examples. I used to work in a company and they actually sell hotel rooms. And the name of the room was standard room non-refundable. That means that whatever happens, the customer cannot get the money back. So the customer was very upset because he wanted to cancel but the description said that it was non-refundable, so he couldn't get the money back. As you see, I am adding my personal touch to this so we can start a conversation. So guys, go ahead and copy this. Did you all copy it? Like copy paste from the chat? No, if you didn't, let me go ahead and send it to the WhatsApp group so you can have them. Now we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna have a few minutes to answer these questions and try to keep it conversational, okay? Good, so go ahead and accept the invite, please. There you go. Invites already sent. the questions and the first one is do you always read reviews before buying a product online from an online store sorry okay Ana Maria what about Hello. you well in my case um I I don't like buy uh, things and online for this reason I I don't have uh, this kind of experience sorry my my um, experience about it is in existence non-existent and what about in real life if oh yeah in real life mm -hmm. when I buy something I try to 
to investigate something uh, before when I buy the things and before always buying, I, uh -huh. before yeah. buying the things yeah before buying the thing and always I make different question to the person who is uh, sell me selling the, selling me the things uh -huh. Why? Okay. And here is when the conversation starts. Okay, and, and what about you, Alison? Well, um, in my case, I used to buy things online, but for my work, the most of the time. And I buy from places like Vidri, Freon, um, just that one, so they are very trustful store. And I always check the product before I leave the store. Before leaving. Here, oh, I'm gonna leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a tip, guys. Every time that you're gonna use a preposition like before, after, for, and you're talking about an action, you have to use ing. Before leaving, before taking a shower, before eating dinner. So try to take note of this and look for the most common prepositions. So you keep it in mind that when using a preposition and then you have an action, you need ing. And it doesn't mean antes de yéndome. It means antes de irme, right? It is a noun. It's the name of the action. Mm -hmm. So you said when using a preposition and then an action, you mm -hmm. have to use ing. Correct. In the action. Uh -huh. exactly. Before I was taking a shower, example. Oh, I know. If you have something in the middle, it doesn't it doesn't apply. For example, before breakfast, you do not use ing because breakfast is not a verb. It is already a noun. Es el nombre de algo. Now before traveling, antes de viajar, there you need it. If what you are using is a verb, you need ing to change it to the name of the action. Se necesita el ing para cambiarlo al nombre de la acción, para convertirlo en un noun. So, before studying, make sure you have your notebook. Before going to bed, brush your teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay. Continue, Thanks. guys. Let me, you're welcome. Let me check another group. Okay. Or that the cake was um, vanilla and they delivered me. And okay, so he said happy birthday and we put the cake and it was from chocolate. And I was like, this is not what I ordered. It was, it was good. It was tasty, but I, I it wasn't my order. So I, um, I write, I wrote uh, to the, to this person that I, that I ordered the cake from, from. Mm -hmm. Yes, great. And, <laughs> and she was like really, um, like really sorry about that, but she, she didn't, um, she didn't solve like the problem she didn't uh, gave me any um, solution she, she didn't give me she didn't give me she didn't give me any solutions and and i was like i i was going to to ask her like my money back or or something because that was not what i paid but she's like an an entrepreneur so i I was like, no, it's okay, but she she made a mistake, and it's okay, but the next the next time maybe I I won't ask her for a cake. But okay, if, it, well. if, if it was like a, a company or like a bakery more um, bigger, more popular, I I would no I how I would how, have asked. I would have asked. Yes, like for a refund. Mm -hmm. Yes, refund is when you get ah, your money refund. back. Mm -hmm. so Great. Yeah, okay. okay. Marcelo. Here well, is where the rest so comment. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Well, in my case, to be honest, like I told you before, I barely uh, bought something in internet. But I would suggest one of my friends uh, to do is that if he doesn't uh, agree what something that has that he has ordered, he can uh, make a, a claim. If he can is, or he can't? No, he can. Mm -hmm. He can claim is the, the right uh, word. Mm -hmm. okay, he can make a claim in order to refund for her money back or to give something different or according to what uh, he has ordered. That's it. Here, let me help you. It is to file a claim. Okay. To file. File is like, in this case, it's not like submit, so, submitir, like to submit, mm -hmm. so, to file a claim. It goes together. It's a collocation. Okay. To file a claim. So that's what it would, would be my suggestion uh, to my uh, friends that he could do that in order to get something different or get her, get his money back. Good, good. Help each other out, guys. You're doing great. Um, make sure to apply the new vocabulary and ask follow-up questions. Right? Like, for example, in, in uh, Eric's example, and um, has he ever had a problem? Have you had a problem? Or do you read the reviews in when you go to the store? Not necessarily online if you haven't had that experience. When you buy something, do you read reviews? before buying in general try to ask more questions okay? okay okay just one just one question go ahead when you say reviews uh well i i know the the word reviews but uh, mm -hmm. what do you what 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 does it mean exactly in this case guys what is the meaning of review mm, like the comments review. Uh -huh. a synonym the could be that people reseñas mm -hmm. Reseñas. Mm -hmm. Like comments, opinions from other people. Opinions, reseñas, okay. Yeah. Experiences, that is a review. Experience. From other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Let Thank me check much. another group. Great job. Okay, okay. City or something. Yeah. But, but my cell phone, none of, uh, has, none of us have uh, or, or Digicel, so I have the, the card in there. <laughs> you have the card and, the, and the Nobody new ship. <laughs> Yeah, if it happens. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you have the the gift card. Sí. Maybe they don't give you the money back, but you you can use it to buy another thing. Mm -hmm. But when you receive another product that you don't use, and uh -huh. that is more complicated. Like, I don't want this. All right. Mm -hmm. um, See, okay. Are you talking about just online or about real experiences going to the store? Online. No, online. Okay. Online store. Uh -huh. uh, online. In online. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Juan Carlos is in this group, but he he called us driving. He was on his way to somewhere, and he was driving. So he said he sent the message that he will be good. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is, but um, but yeah. I told him, I agree. I mean, safety first. He's driving home. Yeah. At least I think he's paying attention, but you know, eyes on the road. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We safety told him first. the same. We said, safe, drive safe, and we will tell him. Tell him. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, we just got a few minutes. Let me check the last group, and then we go to the main room, all right? Okay. I Thank think Gladys your... is having issues with internet because she went out yep. and was breaking. Yep, I see. Um, normally that happens to Gladys. She turns the camera off because of the bandwidth. And unfortunately right now is, is getting disconnected. But thank you because you show a lot of interest on your classmates too. So I appreciate that is teamwork. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Keep it in English for like two more minutes and then we go back. Okay. Okay. Um, in WhatsApp in the group. Oh, that's you great. Can see okay. that. 
Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. Teacher. All right, any questions so far? Were you able to answer this and have a conversation about it? Yeah, we did the exercise with Morena only and then Ernesto and Sara arrived to the breakout room. So uh, they, they, they don't... Uh, oh, you got, you got muted somehow. Yeah, the problem Are is that Sara and me arrived later. Okay, Ernesto, do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? Yes, I always read reviews before because it's a way uh, I can find uh, if there is something wrong with that company. And uh, yeah, I usually do that. Okay, and what do you do when your order or product, sorry, your you order a product and receive something fault. Receive or something fault. Receive. Mm -hmm. Okay. You receive something faulty or different from your order. Different. Okay. In that case, uh, I will call the company and ask for a change in my product, maybe. And mm -hmm. um, if they don't give me that, uh, maybe ask for my money. To okay, they give my, my money back. Mm -hmm. So you would ask for a refund. Refund. Thank you. you. Ask a refund. For is, a refund. Mm -hmm. To ask for a refund is pretty refund. much to ask for your money back. Ask for a refund. Refund. Okay. Just to get your money back. All right. Good answer, Ernesto. Now. We still uh, have, in two more minutes, we finish. So try to answer them. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sarah, do you always read reviews before buying products online? Yes, I do. I always read the reviews because you can find the, you can find the truth in nice, the reviews. Nice fix. Nice fix. All right. Anything else you want to add before we go to the main room? No? So let's go. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are coming back from the ones that I have here. I need a volunteer. One volunteer, please. Me, Eric. All right, go ahead, Eric. Thank you very much. So, um, do you check the reviews before buying online or directly at the store? Well, when I go direct direct to the store, I always check the reviews mm -hmm. because, like we were discussing uh, at the team group, uh, we would like to to find out what are we getting and what are we paying for. So that's why I always check uh, reviews when I go to the stores. And if I do some uh, shopping online, I, I will do it also either. Okay, okay, great. And uh, thank you, sir, nice answer. Has any one of you ordered something just because you really want it despite the bad reviews? No. Have you bought something you really wanted, but you know it's not good? No. No. I can control myself. <laughs> okay. It's too risky. It is risky, definitely. In my case, I bought a Toyota Supra 88. It is a, an old car, a big cylinder, turbo, and someone told me, don't buy it. That's a broken piggy bank. A piggy bank is where you put your money. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a broken piggy bank. So, yes, I knew it was going to be expensive. And I knew I was going to be sad, but I bought it anyways. And guess what? It was in the shop they were, most they of the right. time. They were right. Uh, it was, it was a piggy bank. It was a broken piggy bank. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent. I don't have money. 
but I used to work 17 hours a day to get wow. money on that car. So what about you? Do you have any experience like that? Yes, I have. Tell me about it real quick. Uh, a few years ago, I, I bought a Nissan Bluebeard. Uh-huh. Uh, 1990. Okay. So that was a, a in the beginning it was a, a a great car, very very good. It got good air condition. Everything is was working great. Mm -hmm. The problem was eight months late after the, the later mm -hmm. later, and when it, the car cools smell when it's going when I going to get my I don't know how to say aguinaldo. Um, it doesn't really Christmas exist. Bonus. Uh huh. Exactly. Aguinaldo itself, it doesn't exist. It's a Christmas bonus. Okay. It can smell it because it when the, it, when December came, always I have to fix something. Yeah. <laughs> and when I get to the to the oh, yeah. uh, to the mechanic. Uh, to the, the mechanic. mechanic. Mm -hmm. yeah. They start. Uh, the, I I tell I told them. I came because this is not this is not working, and when it uh, start to work with on that, they mm -hmm. found uh, this another thing or not, this yeah. another thing not, this another thing not. So one one work uh, becomes in three or four. Yep, exactly. More and more money. That's right. Yep. Nice, nice. Thank you for sharing that. So guys, uh, do you think it's important to check reviews? Always. Yes. 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 I do. Okay. Yes. I was telling to that uh, I don't I don't check the often as I should, mm -hmm. but my daughter does all the time. Any time that she needs to buy something or go to some place, and she always uh, check the review. <laughs> also. Sorry. Okay. She takes her time for writing some reviews and her opinions after. Because he says, if I if I wanted to read them, somebody else would like to know. So mm -hmm. she she does the, the two things: read the reviews and write. When she finishes the process, she goes back and and read because she's somebody else may want to need to may want to know. Okay, good, and that's very nice of her. Great, nice opinion. I I mm -hmm. I check the reviews, but if I need the product or I really don't trust the reviews because sometimes where the company has a lot of people that hate that company, mm -hmm. the reviews mm -hmm. are not like um, fair for, for some products. So if I need the product, I always ask for the product. Even if the reviews are bad, okay. if I need the product, but I don't, I don't trust all the reviews. Got it. And here, guys, is where we can have follow-up questions. And I'm going to ask her something. Do you do it with products that you already know or with new products? Products that I already know. Aha, you see that that's a very good point to keep into consideration, right? Mm -hmm. Because what is good for you, it might not be good for me and vice versa. Right? Vice versa. Very good, guys. This is what I like for you to start giving your opinions. Now, it is time for us to practice a little bit our speaking skills and our reading skills at the same time. So please... Let's pay attention to this one and read with me. Try to mirror everything I do. Here, Emily is telling Diego. Emily is telling Diego. About an online order. About an online order. Emily is telling Diego about an online order. Emily is telling Diego about an online order. order. For shoes she just placed. For shoes she just placed. 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 Mm -hmm. 
The ending sound of the T makes the difference about place, lugar, placed, acaba de poner in past. Take turns. Take turns. Take turns. Take turns. Practicing the conversation with a partner. Practicing the conversation with a partner. 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 Good. Now, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. Again, I just ordered... I just, I just to order, order a pair of shoes online. A pair, a pair of, of shoes online. Online. Uh -huh. online. Make sure online. 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 One more time. Online. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. I just, just ordered, ordered a pair of, of shoes, online. shoes online. They are very expensive in stores. They are, they are very expensive, expensive stores. stores. But I got an excellent deal online. But I got an excellent, excellent deal online. Here. But I got an but I got an excellent excellent deal online. Deal online. I can't even believe it. I can't oh, even believe it. Can't even believe it. Can't even believe it. Great. Guys, um remember. I don't know if you notice, but, but I am linking a lot of things, reducing a lot of things. And this is the way you got to practice so you can understand when you listen to, uh, to movies or music, etc. Now, let's go ahead and do it one more time. But this time, let me finish, okay? I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. A pair of shoes online. I can even believe it. Great. Any new vocabulary there? No? Let's go to the next one. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts. Last time I ordered some shirts. Ordered some shirts. But I got the wrong size and color. But I got the wrong size and color. The color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. Right items. Uh -huh, yeah, I know it's a little bit, you know, tricky. Then I had to, had to, I had to ship the package back. I had to ship the package back. Package, package back. Package, back. To get the, to get the, we don't let it go, okay? Say it together because it finishes with T and it starts with T. To get the right items. To get the right items. To get the right items. Right items. Right items. It ended up being, it ended up being more expensive. It ended up being more expensive. It ended up being more expensive. It ended up here, ended up. Up, you go to it goes together. Ended up being more expensive. 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 Uh -huh. Here, more, er, er, more, 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 more expensive. More expensive. Right. Now wait for me a little, and then you start. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Go. You should be careful, be careful, careful when ordering stuff online. 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 But I got the wrong size and color. I got the wrong size and color. Now it's my turn. 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 Now it's
Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. One more time. Then, then I had to ship the package yeah. back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Go. Then, then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Okay. Any new vocabulary there? All clear? Yeah. Next one. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on so oops. Oh my bad. I got confused. Well, I read a lot of all together. I read I a lot of positive reviews on the site. I read a lot of positive reviews. Reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. So I think I have a good choice, choice with these shoes. With these shoes. This one is a little bit tricky, guys. It is short, but almost everything is together. Now, let me finish. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. Go. Well, I read, well, I read, a, lot I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. Good. Any new vocabulary here? No? Next one. I read a lot of reviews too. I read a lot of reviews too. But I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. But I didn't, but I didn't know, know that sellers could post, post fake reviews. Fake reviews. Mm -hmm. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. You may want to, to go and double-check uh, to avoid any issues, issues with your purchase. With your purchase. Great. Any questions with the vocabulary? Um, purchase. Issues. Purchase issues. is um, Comprar, no. what you bought. Oh. Mm -hmm. If it is used as a verb, purchase and buy is the same. But if it is used as a noun, purchase is tu compra. Okay. Thank so you. it has two uses. Mm -hmm. The other one? Uses? Where, 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 where? I think it's issues. 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 Oh, okay. Issues. Uh -huh. It's uh, like a problem, a situation you can encounter. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do. I want you to please work in pairs. One of the things that you have to do to be able to understand is being able to speak they go together so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send you an, an a voice note you're gonna go to the breakout rooms and then you're gonna practice in pairs try to sound as close as you can i'm gonna send four audios one per paragraph i just ordered a pair of shoes online they are very expensive in stores but i got an excellent deal online i can even believe it Goes number one. Number two. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Paragraph two. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. Three. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Alrighty guys, so here, you're going to be working in pairs only. Do you have this uh, image? Do you have the, the book downloaded? Yes. 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 All right, great. So um, go ahead and- What is the number of the page? Uh, number 17. 17, okay. Mm -hmm. Page 17. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to send it to you so you can read it, or if you have it even better, and try to practice with your partner to sound exactly as I sound, okay? First, you are going to be Emily, and then you're going to be Diego, okay? So you're going to be switching roles. Any questions? No. All right, we're yeah. going to practice this for... 10 minutes. Do your best. When we come back, I'm going to have some victims. I mean, some volunteers. Me. 
All right, give me a second. Practice makes perfect, guys. Blah, 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 breakout rooms. I'm gonna recreate them and we're gonna be working in pairs. Two participants per room, All right? Go ahead and accept it, please. Did you get the invite, Roxana? Yep, she's got it. So let me see. Yep, everybody's there. I'm going Emily, sorry, <laughs> it's Emily. No. It'll be Amy. Emily. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold, hold a second. I'm trying to watch the... To watch the... Just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent pair online. I can't even believe it. You you, be you, stuff online. you have it. You have the the book or the yes. I'm watching it on on WhatsApp. I'm gonna play the first that is Emily right now. Yeah. Let me, let me hear it again. If you are having issues doing both, just go ahead and say it, Gladys, and help each other with the pronunciation. Because sometimes the image and the audio is difficult. Just go ahead with what you remember. Okay, okay. Okay. So I'm going to start. Mm. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Nice. Then I have to, yeah? Sorry to interrupt. I thought you yeah, were already it's finished. Okay. Shirts. Shirts. Mm -hmm shirts but i got the wrong size and color then i have to ship the package back to get the right items it ended up be, it it ended up being more expensive there you go good before you continue gladys um something you can do roxana is look for a tongue twister with the with the sounds ch yeah. ch mm -hmm. Yeah. H and S H. There's okay. one. Um, she sells seashell. She sells seashells by the seashell. Go ahead and look for Tom Twisters with C H and S H. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you. Continue doing your best. Okay. When I got the wrong size and color, then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. You can listen? Yes, I listened. All right, let's rock it, guys. One and one, one paragraph, one paragraph each. Okay, me, Emily. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering a online. 
Last time I ordered the sound shear, but I got the wrong side and color. Then I had to ship the packet back to get the right item. It ended up being more expensive. Okay, good, Juan Carlos. In this one, try to focus on the ending sounds so you can finish. For example, in, instead of packet, package. So okay. even though you don't say it that fast, Make sure that you complete all of the sounds of the word. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Go ahead and continue, Abner. Okay. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So, I think I made it a good choice with these shoes. Nice. Nice linking with these shoes. Made a good. Made a good choice. Okay. Say it with me. Made a good choice. Made a good choice. There you go. Made a good choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Made a good choice. Continue, guys. I ordered some shirts, but I, I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. With these shoes. All right, good. Uh, good job with the linking sounds, girls. I liked it. Now, the thing is this. The more we practice, the more natural it's going to sound. Okay? So we got okay. four minutes, then we go back. It doesn't matter, girls. Sometimes it is okay. tedious to say it over and over again, but literally. This is going to help you out a lot with your pronunciation. Okay? Okay. Right. Thank right. you. Let me check another one. You're welcome. Okay. Hello, here. Okay. We already did it. So, do you need that to hear this again, teacher? Did you switch? Yep. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Surprise okay. me. Okay, I'm going to be Emily again, uh, David. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I just ordered, ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent, excellent, excellent deal online. I can't mm -hmm. even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the pack package back to get the right items. Items. Uh, it, items. Okay. Mm -hmm. Items. It uh, ended up. Mm -hmm. It ended uh, up. Ended, ended up, up. Ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with, the, with these shoes. Shoes. Here, choose. Hey, ¿qué onda, choose? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, here's going to be. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't be sorry, sorry. It, it's, it happens. Shoes. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Like you're asking someone to be quiet. Shoes. Yes. Say it again, please. Okay. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. Mm -hmm. Good, nice, better. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and avoid share to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, to avoid any issues. Issues, uh, uh -huh. issues okay. with your purchase. Great, good improvement. All right, guys, let's go back to the main one. Okay, so little by little, we are coming back, and I need, my dear fellas, I need some volunteers to read in front of everybody. So I need a couple to read, please. The same couple that you were practicing in the breakout rooms. Volunteers. Me, Morena. Okay, go ahead, Morena, your partner. 
Uh, I am not sure if em Emily is is coming in the group. So there, there she is. Okay, Emily. I just ordered a pair. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in the stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. Emily. Am I Diego? Yes. Okay. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. I ended up being more expensive. He ended up being mm -hmm. more expensive. Okay, good. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the side, so I think I made, I made a good choice with these shoes. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, great, good job. Good job, good job, excellent. For the time you had, it is a very, very nice job. Good, need two more, please. Me, I'll take it. Nice, I, I didn't know who, who, who said me because, okay, I am seeing Ana Maria and the other person goes next. Go ahead, Ana Maria, please, and your partner. My favorite quote, you are on mute. Oh, I will go mute back. Uh -huh, you are on mute. Now hello, you're... hello. Okay. Now, go. I am Emily. Okay. Oh, oh, you are, okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. Okay. Good. Your partner? Who's your partner? I don't remember the name. Okay. So okay. Daniel, 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 Daniel. Go ahead, sir. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you should be careful when offering offer, ordering stuff online. Stuff. Last time uh, stuff, stuff okay. online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. Items. And, and items, so uh, items. And ended up be, being more expensive. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, I read a lot of positive review on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers go post fake news. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Purchase With your purchase. Purchase, purchase. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. good, good, I like it. Um, just in, in this case, read and read, it is written, uh, it's, it's the same thing. However, this context is in past because they already bought the things. So the past of read, it is red, like the color. Great. And I need one more, the last one, please. Two Me, more volunteers. my partner, Sara. Okay, go ahead, Sara. Partner, you are, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. okay, we are a really great couple. Okay, uh, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an, an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, good, good, nice job, nice job. Remember guys, I do not expect perfection. I expect you to try and you've done a great job. Good job, guys. So um, before we go to the next thing, we're gonna be taking attendance. Um, something that I wanna give you is some of you are having some complications with sh and ch. So I would recommend you to practice these tongue twisters. She sells 
seashells by the seashore. Easy. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Mm -hmm. This was this is with SH. I do not have any with uh, CH at the top of my head, but look for it. You can look for it on Google with tongue twisters. Tongue twisters with CH and SH like that, and you're gonna get a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and take attendance, guys. Remember to have all your camera on when this is done. And I think we have a lot of people today. Give me a second. Here it is, August the 12th. Ana Maria Mazokins Rivera. I didn't hear you, but I saw you Present. raising your hand. Okay. Present. Thank you very much. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Present. I see you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Cordova. Okay. Um, Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Thank you. With this thing. Gladys Idalia Melendez Hernandez. Uh, present. I see you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. See you. Eric Arnaldo Salaya Ayala. Present. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Ernesto Antonio Castillo. Present. I see you too. Thank you. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. See you. David Orlando Nerio. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. See you. Roxana Domitila Ríos de Quiñones. Present. See you too. Juan Carlos Garcia Laines. Present. Thank you. Hey guys, I don't know if you know, but Juan Carlos was driving home and he was still logged into the conference. So thank you very much for that. Uh, let me see Beatriz Adriana Martinez Merino. Present. I see you. Thank you. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Present. Excellent. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. See you too. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. There you are. Celia Carmina Pineda Avalos. Celita. Celia Carmina. No, okay. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. I see you too. And then we got Maria Isabel Lozara Garcia. Didn't hear you, but I saw you. Okay, so thank you very much. We are just missing then. Celia sends a message to the group that she's still working. Okay, I haven't really been able to check it. Good, thank you very much. I'm going to let her know that... That... um. Ah, that's true. And I answered. <laughs> okay. Okay, great, yeah. great. I hope that she's going to be able to come back pretty soon. So, guys, let's go ahead and continue working with this. Um, the idea for today, as you can see, there is no grammar, but we've got to practice a lot of our speaking skills. So, a couple of questions here, and I need three people to answer. Here, what should you do before buying from an online store? One volunteer to answer. What should you do before buying from an online store? Me, Alison. Go ahead, Alison. Uh, we should check the reviews and twice. And we have to check if the site is secure. And we have to be careful with the things we buy online. Okay, great. I like it. Do you guys agree with her recommendations? I agree. I agree. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Next volunteer. What tips would you give your partner to avoid fake reviews online? Me, Sarah. Go ahead. Um, um, you can uh, read the reviews, but also, you can read, uh, you can uh, check the rate of the seller, mm -hmm. uh, or 
is a store, depend, depends of is a, if a seller or an orange store. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can watch the pictures of uh, on the reviews <laughs> because sometimes it, it, some kind so yeah, sometimes sorry is mm -hmm. really different the product of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it happens like these Chinese websites that their size is XL, and when you get it, it's like <laughs> S. <laughs> it's like, it's for your right. Do you guys you agree with Sarah? Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yes, I agree. Okay. I agree. Great, great, great. And the last one. What can you do if you receive damaged items from an online purchase? <clears throat> A new volunteer, please. Me, Sarah. <laughs> okay, again. Thank you, Sarah. Let me well, scared, guys. Mm -hmm. I I going to bore you, but um, <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, it depends because it depends. It's more is sorry. It depends because if it's more expensive to 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 back the to package back to return the package. To return, sorry, thank you. Don't to be return sorry, girl. Package, come on. Yes, to return the package back. And I, I, me lo quedo, como, how can you say me lo quedo? Uh -huh, I guys. Keep it. I keep it. I would, I would keep it. I would keep it. I keep it. But if, if it's, if it is free, I, I send back the package. I'd, I return. I would. I return the package. That's the package. right. Good. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Fifty-fifty. Yeah. Fifty-fifty. Why? Because when you buy in online to uh, to check the when the 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 website have a, a, a po police have us police uh, for for return all. Uh, have a as a third uh, person as has um oh. uh, how do you say uh, seguro it is insurance in insurance insurance insurance. Mm -hmm. insurance for this these items okay all right do you guys agree with jc yeah. All right. So what we're going to do with the next one, guys, some of the, some, uh, some things are going to be asked. You're going to be conducting a poll. A poll is that you're going to be interviewing your partners with these type of things. Okay. And you're going to be answering this. I understand that. Oops. I understand that some of you have not done this because you do not buy online, so you can perfectly talk about real purchases, okay? But before, let's go through with some, give me a second, this is giving me issues here. Let's go through with some vocabulary here. Read it with me, please. Building vocabulary. Building vocabulary. Vocabulary. Vo here, vocabulary. 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 Good. Match the terms related to online shopping to the corresponding meanings. Match, Match the, the terms related to online shopping, shopping to the corresponding, corresponding meanings. Meaning. Meaning. Good. Reliable seller. Reliable, reliable seller. seller. Good. What do you think uh, is, is the meaning of reliable seller in your own words? Reliable seller. Mm -hmm. Uh, a seller you can, you can trust. Who you can trust. There you go. A seller you can trust. So from all of those, which one do you think it is reliable seller? The fifth one. That says a fifth one. A seller you can trust. With seller you can trust with your purchase and who is consistent. Okay, so a can we say can this is number one? Yes. Okay. Let's keep it. So, oops. Not I have a question. Same. Go ahead. 
How do you correctly pronounce consistently? Like you did. <laughs> you did it great. Consistently. Okay. Consistently. <laughs> consistently, yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, next one, fake review. Yeah. Try to get me another fake definition review. for fake review. Fake review. It's a, a, a lie with a review and uh, mm. the seller is make the different counts, fake count or um, falsa, fake count account. to fake account. account. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Fake account to uh, write uh, great, great, uh, great and good reviews, but the product is a is a garbage. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I was uh, scared you would say something different. Yes, it is uh, not good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ni en so, español latino, teacher, ni en español. <laughs> all right, guys, give me a synonym of fake, please. False. 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 Okay. Out. Another one. This is where your vocabulary hits. Mm. Wrong. Wrong or yes, wrong. What about not true? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. This is where your vocabulary comes, guys. If you don't know how to say something, you gotta say it some some other way. Give me a synonym of review, please. Comment. A comment. Opinion. opinion. Great. So, which one of these do you think is the definition in the book? Mm -hmm. For me, it's the number four, yeah. positive or negative feedback. Yeah. Do you guys agree? No, yes. no it's not yes. easily yes, convincing. Not easily convincing, uh -huh. having doubts or having reservations. Doubts or reservations. Mm. But I think it's considered for... a feedback about product or service writing or paid by brand or sellers okay maybe a I fake new uh -huh. reviews okay because fake can be positive uh, yeah positive, and, or negative. And negative. yeah positive and negative because uh -huh. sometimes maybe the product is not that great and somebody say it's great and uh -huh. it isn't <laughs> The point is that they pay by brands or seller. Okay. For me. So, which one is it then? Positive or negative, or um, not not easily convinced? The fourth. Convinced. Okay. No, the fourth. No, I changed my opinion. Number four. Negative. No, I think I think it's the same. Positive or negative? Okay. Or negative feedback. I respect all of your opinions. Let's go with democracy. Let's go ahead and choose this one because it had more more crowd. Next one. Give me a synonym of rating. 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 Score. 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 Great. Great. What else? Mm, the qualification? Qualification, yes. Uh huh. Exactly. That is the rating, the score. What is the what is the one here? Rating. If we have the rating, it is a score. For me, it's For the number, number two. Feedback and so comments feedback about, and about third party seller. Focus on, on the buying, buying experience. Uh -huh. okay. Ratings. Yeah. I had a lot of people with that, so let's go ahead and choose it. Yes. Next one, guarantee. Guarantee. Formal assurance. Yeah. Formal assurance. Yeah. Formal assurance. Yeah. Formal assurance. Yeah. Certain yeah. conditions. That's the one. To a Formal assurance. Okay, and. What would it? What would the synonym be? Synonym. Uh huh. Guarantee. 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 Terms and conditions. It is in the terms and conditions. Insurance. Um. Covenant. Uh huh. Which one are, are we looking for? 
Okay, good. good. Guarantee. Remember, it doesn't really have to be exactly, right? Like, I like commitment. It is a commitment from the company to you. I actually like that. Very good. Next one, faulty. Give me a synonym first and then we... I don't know what is faulty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, falso. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is faulty. Malfunctioning. Not, not functioning, not working not properly. Oh, no. Okay. Broken. Broken. Oh. Uh -huh. Damaged. Mm. Damage. Damage. Imperfections. Imperfections. Okay, yeah. there we go. Mm. Excellent. So, what about here? Working badly or unreliably because of imperfections. Imperfections. Number five. Number one. Yeah, yeah, number uh -huh, so one. The first. <laughs> yeah. And then we number have one. working one. badly on unreliable. Oh, unreliable. <laughs> Correct. Now, skeptical. Definition of a skeptical. Not convinced at all. Mm -hmm. Not convinced. It's like okay. when you have doubts, doubts. or hesitation. Mm -hmm. Hesitation. Hesitation. To hesitate, mm. should I jump? Should I not? Right? Very good. So um, with this one, guys, the recommendation that I would give you is that the bigger your vocabulary is, the easier English is going to be. Simple as that. If you don't, if you don't have vocabulary, you will not, not, not know how to say. Okay. So guys, um, with this vocabulary, what I need you to do is for you to conduct an interview. Okay. You're going to be doing an interview about this right here. But before that, I need to get some victims. Let me see who's with the, ah, I got a couple of people with the camera off. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> and they already turn them on. They, they are turning them on. Okay. Um, Karen, are you here? Yes, I'm here. All right. What is a synonym of reliable seller? Uh, a trust seller. Mm -hmm. A trusted seller. Thank you very much. Next one. David Orlando, what is the definition, a synonym of fake review? Fake review, um, maybe. Mm -hmm. False review. Okay, yeah, good. Like it. Andrea? Okay. Synonym of rating? Uh, scores. Easy, right? Great, thank you. Let me see. Ana Maria, I like your ceiling. Um, guarantee. Synonym. Me? Guarantee. It says a formal. Well, it is the way where uh, a seller or or, or business is mm -hmm. is. Um, is having the way to make you sure or, or confident about the about referring to you is true and and they will do all your expectations about what you're buying or or signing with them okay got it good enough i liked it and i think i have the last one i just lost the page okay let me see neto ernesto faulty Faulty, something damaged, imperfect. Something damaged, okay. And the last one, skeptical. Melissa? Next. Yes. Uh, when you have doubts of something? When you have doubts. Great. So guys, before we go with the, with the thing that we're going to interview, I wanted to share with your classmates any type of inconvenience you might have had, right? For example, once I called, I ordered Tony Roma's. I, I don't know if it was Hugo or Uber Eats, I can remember, or the other one, Get My Food, but it was one of them. When my ribs arrived, there was no onion loaf. 
the onion, the, the fried onions, right? I call them, I let them know. And pretty much five hours later, they still didn't fix my issue. I talk with the restaurant, I talk with the, uh, <clears throat> with the, with the driver, and they never fix it. So what I did is that I asked them, come get your food and give me my money back, right? Because it is incomplete. So the way that they solved it is that they gave me a free delivery for the next order. And when I tried to claim the free delivery, it didn't work. The, the little code that they gave me didn't work. So to me, it was a total disaster. Simple as that. I, some, you know, I was very lazy. I didn't want to drive. So I normally ask for food that way. Um, so I wanted to share if you have had any inconvenience. If it's not online, if you haven't been through that experience, talk about a problem you had physically. Questions? No, all right, very good. So go ahead and accept the break room for this. We're gonna have five minutes, groups of three, share and ask follow-up questions. Do you know what a follow-up question is? Oh. Give us a minute, please. Okay, a follow-up question is, I ordered food from Tony Ramos and it was awful. What did you order? That is a follow-up question for me to continue. Uh, oh, I ordered pan con ripio. Oh, really? I love pan con ripio. Um, did you get sick? Nah, I didn't. My stomach is used to it. So this is how conversations grow. Good. Go ahead and accept the invite, my dear fellows, and talk about that experience. Real quick, five minutes, we come back. Go, go. Accept it, please. Anna, are you here? Hello, hello. All right, so I'm gonna move Daniel for him not to be alone. All right, great. She said she complained uh, as soon as, as the men uh, went away. She complained and called the, the, the place, the coffee cup, and they, sell, they said that if they uh, deliver, they gave the whole order to the, to the men from Hugo. So that was maybe Hugo's problem. So she complained and Hugo, she sent some emails. She was to uh, catch them and anything. And finally, they offered the next uh, deliver will be for free, as the teacher said that happens with Tony Roman. And, and, and yes, the next time she ordered something and they, they gave her delivery, but never got the third dessert or the coffee that she really wanted. So that's mean that the, the issue was for uh, Ugo's. It was Hugo's issue, yeah. the possessive, Hugo's issue. Hugo's issue. Mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she was uh, happy with the, the order at, at the end? Was she happy at the order? No, because she really yeah. wanted the carrot cake that she ordered. The and the money that she saved from the free delivery was, how uh, do equivalente was uh, maybe equal, maybe. Mm -hmm. equal, equal to the to the no, money that, that... No, the delivery is ah, okay. than the carrot cake and the cappuccino. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, so that's not that's sense because about. it was uh, it was uh, expensive than the the delivery, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm so talking about. Nice follow-up questions. Let me check another group. Keep going, guys. Okay. Okay. They sent us two ice creams 
and delivered the order to Santa Tecla. So we got two ice creams for free, but we had to to wait for around one and a half hour. For one hour and a half. Sounds more natural. One hour and a half mm -hmm. for the hamburgers. <laughs> Here is when you have the, the follow-up questions. What what restaurant was that? I'm just coming. Burger King? Yeah, it was Wendy's. Oh. They sent uh, the hamburgers to my house and not to my boyfriend's house. And I, I changed the address, but I don't know if they didn't pay attention or the system didn't change it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I placed the claim and they sent, sent us uh, two ice creams. Okay. You, fi you filed the claim. Oh, I filed the claim. Right. Good. Let's continue, guys. Um, <laughs> All right. And that's where Gladys or Abner can ask a follow-up questions, or you can start telling your own story. Mm, okay, so I have uh, once an inconvenience for an, an, an antenna, I don't know how do you, antenna, how do you say? Antenna. Um, yes, I don't know how to say. Antenna, like that? Antenna, oh, no. okay, okay. It's with double so N asked, in English, but the, the yeah. right, the right. Okay, so I asked for an antenna um, via, via Amazon, I use an intermediate, uh, so they can bring you into El Salvador because they were, uh, you know, from China. Mm -hmm. So um, I received the, the, the answer. With all the pain, all the money? Yes, uh, thanks God I recovered everything. My money, the credit card, the debit card, everything, my documents, my duty. But, uh, you know, the police came to the restaurant. I had to explain them that uh, what happened and the manager also told to them it was horrible yeah wow yeah and you you can see that you you maybe think that it's like a very nice restaurant like a honest restaurant but yeah. even in those places that is thief there are thieves. Uh -huh. there are thieves good job wow yeah. now you said we can uh, think twice to get that place. <laughs> oh, I will never go uh, again. Oh, I, I'm that. sure that you will never back coming back. Where? Yeah, yeah. Where? 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 Okay. Miranda's coffee. Miranda's coffee or Miranda's something on the volcano. San Salvador the volcano. volcano. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. I don't go to those places. I just wanted to know. All right, continue. Did you all participate? Uh, Lena is going to, to talk about your, he, about her experience. Okay, go ahead. My experience, uh, it was uh, maybe um, on, on February of this year. But I, I couldn't say I had a bad experience. I actually had a weird one, but it was good at the end. I asked for food, uh, for your campero. And when the delivery guy comes to my house, came. told me, oh, came to my house, thank you, told me that they get run out of chicken, uh, french fries. So he supposedly got me another a past a pastry instead of the french fries so i accepted that order like that when inside of the house and when i checked the food i had the pastry and the french fries the french fries yeah <laughs> so it, it was a good experience <laughs> i couldn't say i have bad luck with food and also a friend of mine asked from china work for i said no we're going to accept 
the, the food because we were very hungry that time. So we accept the food. I think in this country, I think in this country we have we have uh, many situations where um, or many possibility to have problem with um, with uh, buy things online. For example, uh, some week, some two weeks ago, uh, a parent, a friend of mine. Friend of mine. Yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Repeat. Yeah, a, this. Friend of, a friend of mine. A friend of mine uh, buy. He want to buy a card, and he he, mm, he, wanted. he wanted he wanted to buy a card, and he saw the car in online. The car has some characters, but and he res I don't know how say reservar. Um, depends. He reserved it. He booked it. No, he reserved the the car because he wanted to buy it. Okay. And when the person, when el, the, the, I don't know who say anuncio. The advertising. The advertising. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Help each other, help each other. Production of Anil, I'm going to search. Sí, no, San no. Google. San Google. <laughs> San Google, Anil. Uh, Uh, my Ethernet is really weak. Uh, blue, bluing? Blue, blue, what? Blue, blue. Uh, they blue. say. And you in English, indigo. teacher? Indigo. 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 Ah, indigo. Okay. indigo. Uh, para lavado, they say blue, bluing. Blue or bluing? Ah, okay. Bluing uh, or bluing. Dying, perhaps? I'm not really sure on what the process is. I'm going to send you. Send it to you. I guess that is, yes. Send it to you. Mm. Okay, uh, indigo. Okay. Is this? okay. Indigo. But what is the pronunciation, teacher? Indigo. 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 Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's here. Okay. Blue, blue, blue. Mm. It's not some special. I don't know why. Yeah, I guess that is whenever you are blowing a shirt, for example, a piece of clothing. I guess. I'm not really sure. I will have to double check. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. But make sure you continue. So, uh, let's talk about another example. Uh, I used to, I used to, guys, I used to order uh, by Aerocasillas in Amazon. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. uh, and the last time I ordered, I ordered. Uh, ordered. Ore, ordered. Or, ordered. 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 No, in this right. one, it's like you go with ordered. 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 Right? Order. Order. Yeah, we'll continue. We got the idea. Order there. <laughs> I ordered a, a, a handbag, a yes. black handbag from Nine West, but when it came, the, ro the color was wrong. It was uh, 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 not black. Gray? Uh, like uh, uh, cafe? I don't know. <laughs> brown, brown, brown. Cafe? Brown, thank you. Uh huh. I. Uh, hey. Hello, teacher. You finished? Hey, teacher. Yes. Okay. Great. We were talking about food. 
<laughs> All right. One of the most pleasant topics to talk about. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, so anything you want to tell me real quick about what you talk? Um, no? Yeah. All right. So yeah. you might want to tell the group. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go back because, yeah, time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. Thank my you, friend. David. Alrighty, guys. So thank you very much. Just gotta give it a few seconds. Eighteen, nineteen. Okay, twenty. We are back. Twenty-one, guys. Thank you very much for your attendance. It's really good today. It has improved a lot. Thank you for your, um, you know support in this thing. So I need one volunteer to tell me real quick about the experience, but the one who thinks you have the most shocking experience that you would tell him and people is gonna have it hard to believe. Me, Sarah, again, no. <laughs> All right, in this case, uh, give me a second, Sarah. Let me see if I got another Don't one. Don't worry. And if I have another one, I'm going to give that person a chance. If not, you got it. Don't worry. Does anybody want to take Sarah's spot? No. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Then go ahead, Sarah. I just said you because I'm, I'm like a teacher too. And I know. <laughs> but it's the <a> feeling. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> My, exper my experience is a good shocking moment mm -hmm. because I, I, uh, I called to Pizza Hut and I say, and I told them that I want a four season pizza. That I wanted? One, want it. That I wanted. Mm -hmm. That I wanted, okay. That I wanted a Four season pizza, but they ground. They send me a ground. They send send me send. a ground. Send? send send. Okay, send a ground ingredients, and the four season pizza just have jam, just jam, in the four parts, and I called them and I sent them. And I tell them. Told them. And I, sorry. <laughs> and I told them. Oh, my pizza is ju just have jam, and I I don't want uh, uh, that you have a problem. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that my pizza is. To tell you. I told you that the pizza is grown, and then they uh, I heard the mo the motor of motorcycle motorcycle mm -hmm. and they send me a send. four season send me a four season correct pizza a correct four season pizza and I have two four season pizza that day that day. This day that day so you got a jam pizza well in this and case jam mm -hmm. is actually um Jamon? No. A no 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 jam um, is Jelly. Ah, that, that thing, jelly. I don't know. Jelly. Guys, I do not believe myself a gringo, but I didn't learn translating. Ham. So it's, difficult. it's ham. Ham, it's exactly. Ham. ham, yes, ham. that's true. Ham. I have two four season pizza. Okay, great. Mm. That, that's, pizza Hut takes care of their customers. They don't yes, want any bad yeah. reviews. Mm -hmm. Yes, I um, don't And in this one, that. Sarah, always thank you for your participation. If you participate, then I can help you. Guys, you gotta make mistakes so you can correct them. Simple as that. So here, pronunciation, Sarah, pizza. The double Z in English most of the times is pronounced as T. Pizza. Pizza. Okay. Pizza. 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 Everybody, pizza. 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 Pizza hut. Pizza hut. What is the meaning of hut? Uh, it's the, 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 the roof, the roof. That's right. It is with uh, you. When uh, it's a roof, uh -huh. like, it's like a little roof, like a little house. 
So that's a mm -hmm. hat. Sometimes English is in front of us, uh, has been there for many years. We just don't pay attention to it. Open your eyes to that, guys. All right. So thank you very much. Um, oh, and also the pronunciation of wrong. Here, we do not pronounce the W. Er, wrong. 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 Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm having a lot of machine guns right now. That, that's what I call the metralleta style. All right. So here, first listen and then repeat. Wrong. 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 Great. So guys, what we're going to do right now is the next, you're going to be interviewing your classmates. Okay. But before that, I just want to double check something. The only person missing is Celia Carmina. Are you here already? I'm here. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much for your commitment. And uh, that's it. I, I don't, I'm not sure if Javier is going to continue. I think he's not. So for the rest Javier, of you. Uh -huh. Sorry, Javier is having problems with the uh, work because he works on, uh, on airport. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I see it. I haven't seen him. I have only seen him one day. So besides Javier, then perfect attendance. Thank you very much for your commitment, guys. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Um, we're gonna be interviewing our class, our classmates, right? And we are going to interview using this. Same groups that we had. And um, here it is, I'm gonna share it with you. Here. Please go ahead and repeat after me. Have you ever bought something online? Have you, you ever bought something online? online? What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Did you read some reviews before buying your product or service? Did you, Did you read some reviews before buying your product or service? Your service? Were they useful? Were they useful? Were they useful? Good. Did the provider offer a guarantee in case you were not satisfied with the product? Did the provider offer a guarantee in case you were not satisfied with the product? I need to hear that the satisfied with. Satisfied with. Were you skeptical about the quality of the product you would receive? Or just you're skeptical, skeptical about what you uh, receive. Did you experience any issues to make the payment? Did you experience any issues to make the payment? Uh -huh. Have you or your friends had a bad experience when shopping online? Have you or your friends had a bad experience when shopping online? Good. So guys, we're gonna be as, as asking these questions to the group. I know you have talked about this and uh, make sure you go the first question to everybody. For example, Marcela is asking me, I give my answer and then Marcela can ask Alison if they are in the same group. Then Marcela can talk about it. So the thing is this, try to memorize the details, take notes because I'm gonna be asking these questions, not about you, about someone else. All right, so let's go to back to the breakout rooms, the same groups, so you can continue talking about it. And I'm gonna have some people, all right? Any questions? No. no. All right, so let me go ahead and send this to you uh, via WhatsApp too, just you to have it. Okay. Let's make it happen. Please go ahead and accept the invite. And I'm gonna be visiting you to help you out. There you go. Go ahead, please.
All right. Antonio, can you hear me? Hello, hello. All right, he's there. Uh, how do you say aritos? I don't remember the word right now. Earrings. 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 Yeah, and a pair of earrings. And uh, that's all. That's all the question, right? <laughs> I don't have to say where did I buy. Them. Where, where did I okay. buy? Where did I buy? Did I buy? All yeah. right. So second question, Andrea. Did you read some reviews before buying your products? Um, yeah, I think that I did like a, a, a tiny research and they, they were useful actually. Really? Yeah. Was it useful? Were they useful? Yeah. They, yeah, they, they were. It were. They, they were. They were, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, third, third question. Did the provider offer a guarantee in case you were not satisfied with the product? Actually, no, but uh, I found... <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, just, just a t-shirt. Okay. And then just, just food. Oh, no, no. And also, yeah. shoes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> okay, Avner, have you ever bought something online? Yes, I have. Uh, what was it? Mm, I bought, I I bought a, a mask. A mask? Fashion yeah. mask? Yeah, masks. You can say that, mask. Yes, mask. Okay. Come on, Andrew. Don't, don't be scared, man. Talk more. More and more. Try to say more than what you think. Okay. I bought... I bought... Uh, uh, six masks, but I had a video because the mask wa the size of mask is very small. And yes, uh, and I I, wo I wore the mask, but after uh, two hours later, my, I I have had headache. I had a headache. Abner, that's the way to go, my man. Good. You see. There's a big difference of I bought masks about what you just did. Good. Continue. Let me check another group. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, 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 the page that Ernesto said? OLX. OL, OLX, yes. In that case, um, I never tried to. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, Morena, I have to correct myself. Okay. The desconfia is destructful. Destructful, thank you. Okay, in my case, um, let me see. Do I have buy something on internet and online? Yes, I did, I bought my cell phone too. Okay. What was it? It is a uh, Huawei Nova 5 five T. Okay. <laughs> it's it's very good. It's very fast. the pro the The processor is pretty fast, and the camera took great great pictures. And the camera, camera, and camera, camera, mm -hmm. take okay. good. Very good pictures. Takes, third person. Takes. Takes. It's okay. 
Now the second question. Okay, the second question is try to try to speed it up a little, guys, so you can yeah. be able to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you read some reviews before buying your product service? Ernesto? Uh, yeah, I read thousands and thousands of reviews. Even I check in YouTube videos, uh, YouTube reviews, and YouTubers uh, upload videos about cell phones every week. Uh, the most valued cell phone in, the, in this year, for example, also the cell phone with the best camera, with the best um, processor. core processor, processor. processor. And, yeah, Pro how do you say that? The processor. Processor, processor. thank mm -hmm. you. And um, yeah, I took those reviews and those reviews were very useful for me to take a decision and to select my actual cell phone. Okay, great, good job. Uh, I like your fluency, Ernest. Um, just make sure you make a decision and uh, try to keep the past tense. If you're talking about the okay. past, make sure that your verbs are in the past tense too. Hmm? Great job, okay. continue. We got a little bit less than five minutes. Say that, that I had used offer like emails on or phones, most of the time emails to contact customer service and, and maybe that's the, the warranty that they offer <laughs> to contact yeah. customer service. <laughs> Okay. Yes, so if you call, if the the a warranty there there is, but if you call uh, the website, uh, take more compromise to you commitment, you, commitment uh -huh. with your with the product or with the customer. Okay, the next question is. Were you skeptical about the quality of the product you will receive? And to be honest, I was very skeptical with that earphones. I thought that those those wouldn't uh, resist the time they say, but they work very fine because they last for more than a day without getting this church without so you can say that is an adjective long lasting battery long, oh, no, lasting, long lasting battery, battery. <laughs> and when the battery is losing you can say yeah. the battery drains oh, okay drains the battery drains really fast the battery doesn't drain that fast Always write down okay. vocabulary. Okay. So in my case, the my last uh goal is uh, K. What? Of my course. last purchase. Come on, okay. help each other. Good. Continue. Sometimes <laughs> the companies are like, "Are you gonna have this pro? You?" gonna get this product or no <laughs> when they answer like that i say no <laughs> what is your say, what is your your favorite platform to buy some to buy stuff right now i use them a lot i i use them um i i don't have like a favorite platform Pla because plat plat platform Platform. Form. Form. Platform. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I try a new one. Oh, I don't remember the name. And it was great because they give me, let me see if I have it here. Because they give me all the specifications that I needed. That and I they need. they that I need, they take the time to answer all my um, questions. Mm -hmm. Good. If I, if I make that no payment. No matters what? <laughs> no, no matters. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, no, sorry, Danielle. 
Uh, were you, ah, no, no, no. Did you experience, Karen, any issues to make the payment? Mm, no, because uh, Aerocasias pay, pay uh, in the website, for example, in Amazon, yes. pay for, for the handbag. And then I, I pay them here in El Salvador uh, oh, at Aerocasias. Yeah. That's great. They, they, are, they, they are like an inter, intermediary. Middleman. Oh. They are the middleman. Uh, what? Middleman. They, they are the middleman. Uh -huh. I guess that you can, <laughs> you can help uh, to Aerocasillas to do the, the publicity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Daniel, did you experience any issues to make the payment? Experience. 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 Okay, experience. experience. Okay, my... I want to see, like, the... the uh, how do you say that? I want to see if the cake was really... The, the looks of the cake were good um i wanted flavor, to see uh, uh -huh. i wanted to check if check. the cake looks good, looks good. Oh, well mm -hmm. if the cake looked good repeat don't just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go ahead and say i wanted <laughs> to check if the cake looked good i wanted to check if the cake looked good and uh, and the flavor and it, it was it, it wasn't a big deal but I cared I I cared how do you say care? Importó? Uh -huh. But I cared. Yeah you can say that. Cared. Cared. Uh -huh. I cared at the end but it wasn't a, a big deal. Okay. Were you able to finish all the questions? Uh, almost. Almost. Uh, almost. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we're going to be getting the people back pretty soon. I think. Yes. I closed it already. And I'm going to let the people know. All right. 10 seconds. Okay, now that I have almost all of you, I'm gonna have a couple of volunteers. Let me see who's gonna be my first one. Oh, give me a second. Gracias, amor. Mm, Abner, you are raising your hand. Thank you very much. So, Abner, have you ever bought something online? Uh, Yes, I have. What was it? Uh, I, I bought a mask. Okay. During, right. during the lockdown. During the lockdown. Okay, great. Now, this is what we're going to do, guys. Remember that I told you I was going to ask you about the other person's purchase? I lied. Yes. <laughs> I totally lied. Now... What I'm going to do is that the next person is going to continue as if they were Abner. Abner is talking about masks. So you will continue like if you were him. So, for example, people raising their hands. Thank you, Amy. Did you read some reviews before buying <laughs> your masks? Were they useful? Make it up. Um, yeah, I used to read the reviews online because... For me, it's very important to have the opinion of the other people that had already um, buy the product. Bought. Bought the product. So I prefer to have an idea. And also, um, when it's the first time that I'm trying that product, I want to know something about the quality or stuff like that. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Um, next one, raising their hands. Morena, thank you very much. Did the provider offer a guarantee in case you were not satisfied with the masks? Yes, the, um, the seller uh, gave me a, a, a guarantee when I buy um, something like my kitchen or my refrigerator. And maybe give me a guarantee for two years or four years. It depends on the product. It depends on the product. On the product. Okay, very good. So um, guys, this is gonna be all for today. A quick reminder. Let me see, Wednesday the 12th. Aldo, 10 to 10, 10. Eric Arnaldo, 10, 10 to 10, 20. Ernesto Castillo, 10.20 to 10.30. Amy Melissa, 10.30 to 10.40. David Orlando, 10.40 to 10.50. And then from, from 10.50 to 11 is free. Okay? So um, I, I'm going to see you there.